Let's get you primed on SLURLS. That stands for a Second Life Uniform Resource Locator. It's actually a trademark of Linden Lab. But what you need to know is just like there are web links, so you share a web link with someone, they can go to a website very easily. A SLURL is that for Second Life. So whenever you click this location bar, as I just did, it shows the SLURL and you can drag and you can right click and you can copy it. Now, what good is that? How do you share it? First of all, if you go to your little chat bar here and you paste, so I'm going to com uh, control V and press enter and it shows up in the truncated abbreviated form. So if you were to share this with friends, you can do this in an instant message as well. Click it and it opens place, place profile and then you can click teleport. We're already here though. So say we were to go about a ways here and then teleport and it'll take us back there, hopefully. It doesn't always do that, it doesn't always do it exactly. Notice our orientation has also changed. Now this is a subtlety because of how, let's go to about land, the landing point is set. So if you don't end up, if visitors don't end up exactly and you own the land, you may want to change the landing point. Look into that, will ya? Okay, so another thing you can do if you have favorites here or in your landmarks. So let's go here because it's in, places, we can right click on any of these and notice it says copy slurl. Same thing here, copy slurl. Let's go to the web though. So we still have this in our pasted buffer. And one thing before we go on, you may wonder why does it say maps here that you have also seen one that starts with slurl.com. Well, let's check that out. Okay, so I had an Earl shortener. Let me just open a new one. I'm going to show you a bit more about that in a bit, a bitly. Ah, let's paste it in and again enter. So now on the web, instead, we get the Second Life website. We get a preview of what the map looks like in world. This is tied with the destination guide. So it's more, oh, I didn't mean to select like that, a precursor. And if you click visit this location, it opens the Second Life viewer. If you have several installed, it usually installs the, la the it, it opens the last one that you installed. So. Notice in the background, it just popped open like that. Even if I close it and do it again, which I will shortly. So there's also, in addition to this, let me just click and delete this. It's a bit finagly there. Slurl.com, enter. And here we go. So notice it's more stripped. It's more bare bones. It's not as introductory. So the, the map starts Second Life 1, the viewer hands out are fine, but you can use either. That's the difference of what they look like for now. This may change in the future, and you can also build your own slurls from scratch if you don't have them ready made from the viewer. Again, teleport now. Now what happens if slurls are too long and they're a pain to copy, especially custom ones? Well, you can use something like Bitly. Let me go back to the root here so you can cleanly see very short URL, and that's what it is. It's an URL shortener. So you can paste a link into there and shorten it and then you have a short link, which you can give out like that. Now, some subtleties, okay, it copied it to the clipboard, but notice if you paste it right in here like that, so it doesn't automatically recognize that. So it has to go and open it. Whoa, whoa, open another web browser, get us back here. And that's one of the things you need to know. So if you don't paste the long form one, but anywho, uh, one more thing I should show you is if you go to the world map right here, and notice if you click a place, you can get a slurl to there. Notice though that slurls, depending on where you are right now, they will take the third coordinate. So while you can only click in two dimensions, it takes a third coordinate there. You can copy the slurl. Well, let me show you the hover tip there. So that's exactly what you expect. Let me minimize this. Let me go right to the location bar again and paste it. And you can edit the numbers manually. So if you decided you wanted to be higher like that, and you can also press enter key to teleport there directly. Let's do that. So we should end up in the sky and probably falling down or not because I was already flying and it says, notice it says there's a slur right there. You can right click it and again, copy slur to clipboard. So have a lot of fun with it and they're in many, many places. But as long as you know how to get from point A to B, you're in good hands with teleporting. <laughs> Ooh, and quick promo, if you ever want to visit my island of useful fun in Second Life, that can be very accessed easily to type in here, just here like that. 
press enter and it takes you right to here. And of course, afterwards you can click and get the full slur or whatever, but we've got lots of fun things going on, a lot of creative experiments and things related to the video tutorials. Delight.